God. Oh, hey everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 25. Round of applause, please. That was more of a rumble of applause. I'll take it. I'm not mad at it. Let's try to get round of applause from the studio audience. Please, let's go. We can tell, we can tell some people don't have the best rhythm. They weren't, they weren't born into the rhythm, and it is fine, and we still love them. Guys! Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. I missed you with all my heart. It feels like every week, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get back to the studio and record a podcast for everybody watching. I'm not going to lie to you. Today is one of those episodes we stopped at Starbucks before we came to the studio. Am I sweating to no, to, to no end right now? It is like Shamu could live under my right armpit. It is an unbelievable amount of... Of agua, a little bit of water, a little bit of sweat under the pit area. It's okay. We know me by now. It's fine. We're not going to make a comment about it. We got like four shots of espresso inside of the Starbucks drink right now. I'm wired. Guys, if you haven't already, look below you. You see that subscribe button isn't pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. You don't know what to say? That's fine. I'll give you something to say. Just say, hey, Peyton, your shirt looks nice. You're not wearing all black. Round of applause for Peyton not wearing all black. <laughs> no one cares. I'm about to throw up. Like, honestly, it's like a big excerpt of energy. I had a little bit of sushi, a little bit of Starbucks before I got on the set. Not a good mix. I don't know why I thought that would be good for the body inside in the organ area. I just want to give a shout out real quick to the Discord family. Boy, has the Discord family grown. It is a beautiful, beautiful place in there. It's just like we've built our own community. Let, let, let me not even say me. Y'all have built this community amongst yourselves. Shout out to my degenerates. There's a channel for my degenerates, and they just have wild talks in there. I love you guys, even though you think I don't. I love you. I love my degenerates. I love the meme community in the Discord that screenshot... Um, like pictures from the podcast and make memes. I, I literally like that's my favorite part of the Discord so far is watching y'all's creativity. And shout out to the people that are just in there reading, enjoying the vibes. I love it. I promise you, I'm in that Discord reading everything. So shout out to the Discord family. If you want to be a part of the Discord family, the link is below. We got to get all the all the stuff out of the way. You got to follow me on Instagram at psha. We are about to hit ten thousand followers on Instagram. Now, we can do that this episode. If everybody stops right now, I'll give you a second. I'm looking at you right down the barrel. I'm looking at you. You're not following me on Instagram. Hey, you think I'm ugly? That's all right. It's for the support. We post great stories over there on at PSH8 on Instagram. You would have saw Cam trying the cucumber Gatorade. You'd have saw his wife trying the cucumber Gatorade. Because somebody gave Cam Cucumber Gatorade on the street, which is insane. But we all tried it on the story. There's exclusive stuff on there. It's the best time ever. Please go over and follow me on Instagram. Let's hit 10,000 followers on Instagram today, right now. The link is also below. Also, a great bit of news for the podcast. We're going to be going on a little longer because Manscaped is the presenting sponsor now of the You Should Know podcast. Round of applause for Manscaped for keeping the lights on in the building. That's not possible without everybody's support watching this. Um, that's a little uh, elongated on the, on the clap out there, but we like the support. We love Manscaped. Um, yeah, Manscaped is the presenting sponsor of the uh, of the podcast. Nothing's going to change. Manscaped just has a bigger uh, role because we love them and they love you. They they talk to me daily and they're like, Peyton, we love your audience. We love the support that they give you and that they give us. They're very involved in Manscaped, and uh, we want to continue this relationship. So, guys. Go over to manscaped.com, get 20% off in free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Shout out to Manscaped. Guys, we got co-host Cam in the building today. Oh, it's going to be a great episode. We are, we were hanging out a little bit in my apartment before, and we could tell that this episode is going to be one of those episodes. I'm going to try not to laugh because I've gotten at least 5,000 comments over this week alone about my laugh, and it's making me a little insecure, but it's all right. I, uh... I'm going to continue to try my best to mask my laugh. I may, I may make a noise today with my laugh. We don't know. We'll try some out. Um, rest in peace to the Queen of England, and on to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. 
The presenting sponsor of the You Should Know podcast is Manscaped. Guys, Smooth Sack Summer is slowly coming to an end, fellas. If you haven't been scaping for the summer sun, it's not too late to sweep your sack for those pesky pubes. As summer comes to an end and we enter fall, keep your boys clean and fresh just in time for fresh ball fall. The leader in below the waist grooming is here to make sure your pubes feel smoother than a beach ball and smell fresher than your girl's pumpkin spice. I'm telling you, that's a great smell. Start the new season the right way and join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Guys, the performance package, the excuse me, the performance package 4.0 has everything you need to keep your sweet, sweet sack in check. It comes with the lawnmower 4.0, the weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, the crop preserver ball deodorant, the crop reviver toner, the performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. I'm telling you, Manscaped is a lifesaver. That's why they are presenting sponsor of the You Should Know podcast. They are they're great. Their products are great. I use them daily. Cam uses them. Everybody should use them. I'm telling you, if you haven't already, Get 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at checkout at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at checkout. Keep things smooth and fresh as we say sayonara to smooth ball summer and inner fresh ball fall. Now on to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, guys, we got Colin Cam. All right, Colin guys, we got Cam back. You guys. I missed you, buddy. Oh, God, that actually kind of hurt. I missed you, buddy. That actually kind of hurt. I haven't seen you in a minute. Don't do that again. You messed up my hat. And you messed up my shoulder. <laughs> you all right? Do Are I need you? To... Yeah, no, I'm great. I feel great. I got the. I, I haven't seen you in a while. Shake my hand. Damn it. Nice to see you again. Good man. Are you doing good? I am. I Are like you? your shirt. Let go of me. All right. There we go. Yep. Coas Cam's back in the studio. How are you feeling, buddy? We missed you. I'm feeling good. We saw you last week. I, I have a very, you know, it's just, I don't, it's, it needs to be asked. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is your least favorite scent? Excuse me? Of all of them. I, I hate when I walk into somewhere and it smells like potty. It's my, it's, oh. I, if it's not the potty... And it smells like potty. It upsets me to uh, no bitter. What's the expression? I was trying to say that, no bitter end. To no bi- oh, no bitter end, no end. End of time. At <laughs> Stop. What are you? He's not allowed to get Starbucks. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm never bringing him Starbucks again. I'm so, so sweaty. potty. Yeah, potty's the least favorite. Uh, I'm locking in sewers or sewage, especially on a hot day. Mm. If you walk, if you're walking outside here in Texas, yeah, in the summertime, over a sewer, it might cause you physical harm. <laughs> it might be such a bad scent. It really might. It might. It might do some. Damage. It's like it's got radiation like, in it. Yeah, you're growing like extra it's, thumb. It's actually chemically <laughs> not good for you to sniff. That. You get another eye. <laughs> Warm sewage is just so. It's a nasty. Oh, it's it's just the worst. I don't know. That reminded me. Whenever like okay. I might be exposing myself right now, but like whenever you um like, does your like sink ever smell horrid? Oh, <laughs> that's a that's like that's top ten. That's such a. I'm like in yeah. my living room. No, sometimes that's when like, that's when something's in your garbage disposal. You gotta go run the water and clink that on. That's. I found a hack. You want to know it? The ice. Uh huh. Ice. Mm. You never seen that? Ooh. You put ice in your Ooh. sink and you like push it down the garbage disposal, and you turn it on. And the, I mean, ice is water. We know this. That is that every time. It crunches and it just goes and it like lifts all the dirt and just sinks everything off of it. Oh, 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 there's an insect. It's a fruit fly. There's an insect. But my hack is completely opposite, like oh. polar. Okay. You get boiling hot water. <laughs> Literally opposite. It's like not a solid yeah. and it's hot. Completely. Same, same thing though. Still water. Still water, but just not hard so boiling boiling hot water put it in a pan probably that's where you boil it and then you put it in but or before that you put baking you put it in a pot not a pan (laughs) hands are flat pots you know i don't use those too often unless i'm cooking my (sighs) beef cooking beef (laughs) i feel like i'm about to throw up you need you're never getting a break i'm never ever ever bringing you starbucks again all right oh my god 
You take boiling water. Ba- you take baking soda first, and you put the baking soda in the, in the, in the, and then you put you then you get, and then and then and then you get the boiling water and you put that on there, and then sometimes I take insects, and then I take insect spray. You need to have insect insect spray here it's because of the plants. I water those puppies every day. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. You pour the baking soda. You pour in baking the soda in the down the drain. Yeah, yeah and, just, and then it. and then some insect spray to get some. Dude, baking soda and vinegar, white distilled vinegar. It's a dangerous word. That is a distilled. Uh, <laughs> oh, vinegar. I thought you meant distilled. Oh, I didn't even say it's in the intro. Before we get into anything, the merch is almost done. Oh, you've seen it. Y'all, I sent it to you. Y'all. So, hey, 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 no. You hey. He put his. Thank you. Put his foot in the pot with this one. Thank I mean, you. I had a couple like, hey, we should tweak this. We should yes, tweak. yes. But his mind was the, you know, the. I think, I think. That one. Hey, hey. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, y'all are going to like it. I don't know what else to say besides uh, dope merch, great creativity. Um. Greatness. Thank I don't you. know what else to say. So. Thank you. Yeah, and and anything. Oh, right here. Yeah, do the pinky one. Ooh, lock and pinky. I've never done that. That it's made a, me feel closer to it's you. It's like a hammock for your pinky. I didn't like the way you just said that though. It's like an avatar <laughs> when they sleep and they. <laughs> never seen that movie. You've never seen Avatar. Never, not once in my life. No? The blue monkeys from Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> what are those monkeys? No, they're what? like ten foot sentient beings from a different universe. They're ten feet. Oh, they're mad. You've, so you've never, really never seen, seen it. I've no, never no, seen massive. it. They're like, they stand about 10, 11 feet. But Isn't everything like, else is like equally as large. So they don't look, they look normal in their habitat. Yeah, because they're all 10 feet. Yeah. But I'm saying the trees are like hundreds. Of, it's like they live in California redwoods. Oh. So it's like they're huge, but everything else around them is huge. But then when the people come, they're like, oh. You want to see something gross? Please don't. Why is your hand in your shirt? <laughs> why is your hand in your shirt? <laughs> I know you're sweating, but why, what are you picking? You need a roll of paper towels right here. Right? Right here. I'm so sweaty. Oh God. I'm so, yeah, but the merch is almost done. Um, I can't, I don't make any decisions here at the You Should Know podcast by myself. Um, I do run everything by co host Cam, and that's before the podcast even happened in my life. I would run <laughs> things by Cam before I made I was, any decisions. I was his instructional coach. Yeah, yeah you're my to, life on mentor. On how to be, on how to exist. I was, uh, <laughs> Giving him tips and tricks, <laughs> yeah. daily daily note taking. Yeah, so so yes, I, it's gonna be great. We both have a, a hand in it, and it's gonna be uh, awesome. That's not the merch, but that's Manscaped. Shout no, out to no, Manscaped. this isn't the merch, but this is a uh, this is our our dearly beloved Manscaped. Dearly beloved, God, we love them, don't we? Um, do you? There's <laughs> <laughs> like you just ran like a, a quarter mile. <laughs> oh, okay, there's um. There's some fast food in this earth, on this planet. Very good. That if you eat, you belong under the prison, bottom bunk, Ooh. not able to see light. Let me tell you something. I was about to say, we might get into a fist fight right now, depending on no, no, what no, no, you no. have to no, say. I'm is, telling is you nasty. right now, if what I'm about to say, if you disagree with it, you will never sit on that guy. Let's hear it. If you eat. Long John, John Silvers. Silvers. L2 chicken patties with the crusties on the back Oh, he eats it! Oh, he eats it! <laughs> no, I don't eat I have never been to Long John Silvers since I was like seven years old. When, you act like I could hop in my own car at seven and be like, ooh, I want, I want Chick-fil-A. Yeah, but you'd be like, Mom, If no. Mom is going to Long John's, little Bubby here <laughs> is getting the L2 chicken patties, hush puppy on the side, extra crusties, fries. Oh, the fact that you know that order that hard doesn't mean you went there casually. That was your spot for a minute. <clears throat> I'm about to throw up. You need to breathe. I can't. Just. <sighs> but no, no, no. Long John, like, think about that. The fact that you're it's- going and getting... Fast food, seafood, seafood, fast food in North Texas, where the nearest no body, of, body of water is is like Lake Louisville. I don't know. I, it's it's that's concerning. Like I don't eat. I don't order sh- like 
I mean, if you go to Razoo's or something like that, crawfish can be eaten. But I don't get any any other type of seafood unless I'm near, uh, if I can see the water out yeah, of the Yeah, where is that coming from? Where are you getting that insect, huh? Like they took that from the Indian Ocean. They took that from the sea, threw it on a truck. That took off from Miami in a hot truck for three, four days. And then it gets to Texas, and they're like, eat this. And stopped at seven goes, gas stations. Hey, Screw you. That's what I should say. To you. Hey, absolutely not. And now that you're saying that, Red Lobster is just as nasty. Okay. And it's morally wrong because you walk in. And they're alive. Exactly. You walk into like, a Red Lobster. I want to eat him. Exactly. You're going no, into that's... the Red Lobster. You're walking into the lobby. The first thing you see to your right is just a family having a good time yeah. in their little tank. Try, thinking of a plan to escape that tub. They don't that, know what's about they, to happen. You know, that That is a tank of death. And you're, going, you're walking in and you're like, table for two and hey i'm about to eat your cousin in about 45 minutes yeah. that is your sick. grandma she's coming home with me who that is? sounded wild. <laughs> who but who like like i i don't eat seafood because it makes me nauseous i mean i i dabble in about three shrimp catfish Ooh, has to be very like good restaurant salmon i couldn't buy salmon and bring it home and try to make it myself Ooh. it wouldn't be the same Ooh. Ooh. It's about the only three. Shrimp, I, catfish, crawfish, but I mean, that's like, crawfish is like you're doing a Sudoku puzzle for like 40 <laughs> seconds to get a piece of meat the size of a Skittle, so. Exactly. It's kind of like, you. uh, do I, do I want to do this or <laughs> should I get chicken tenders? That's kind of, that's all, I'm like, <laughs> I get chicken bring, tenders. bring the chicken tenders. But that, uh, there's a story I have about biscuits. When did we start talking about biscuits? <laughs> I just, God. They don't serve biscuits at... Oh, Ooh, the Cheddar Bay biscuits. Exactly. Okay, segue. That's See? what made me think. That right. motherfucker <laughs> is bothered. There's like a little fucking insect. Itty that's bitty. Just, but, um... God. I, they're, they're, like, I always say I should cut this out. A 98% chance this doesn't go into the podcast. He's he's back. He's on me? Yeah. Get him off. I, you just hit it. Okay, he's gone. All right. That's Jerry. He, yeah, he is. He's your new pet. Also, remember like episode like eight when I said there was a there was a bird that hit that window and mm. died. He's still, he's just bone. And pet. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace to him. That's a studio pet back there. Yeah. there. <laughs> but um, our dead bird is our mascot. <laughs> it's very representative of this. Um, but there's a uh, a story I have about a biscuit. Um, we were at an AAU tournament. Me and my family. I was playing in high school. As one does. And it was late at night. I want to say, say 9.25. Okay. Very specific. Yeah, but that, specific. <laughs> but there's a reason. It was 10.13, <laughs> little cloudy. The back passenger door was a little open. <laughs> then it happened. Good God. Paint me a better picture, Picasso. Let's see if you can get that done. So I said eight words. <laughs> Then the bird flew. Its right talon struck my window. Like, good Lord. We're talking about biscuits. Not equality and, and, and justice. Like, we, this is biscuits. Get to the, get to it. Biscuits. Let's go. I can't see. Just take it. I can't see it on my Be left eye. Be in the eye. moment and grab it and go for it. I can't see it on my left eye. Why? Biscuits. Biscuits. Okay. Okay. It was 925. And the reason I'm saying what time it was is because... Oh, there better be a reason. <laughs> because the church's chicken closed at 9.30. That's your fault. It's my family's fault. I was a kid. They... Oh, my God. So we pulled up to the drive-thru, and we ordered... We ordered this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> we, we need to get this place ferminated. <laughs> this is... You need, to sp you need to sprinkle that cucumber Gatorade around the place. That'll probably take them out. That'll probably get rid of them. <laughs> That's oh a great God. callback. Um, geez, that was comedy 101 right there. That was a Check my hand. That was actually really good. Thank you, Hammock Avatar. I, I, I'm gonna, never doing that again. It's you know it's nice though. I, 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 but For anyone who can't see, next time you shake a hand, get a little that action. <laughs> All right, fuck these biscuits. It's like, yeah, biscuits. <laughs> so it was 9:20. Oh my God. Get 9.25, you're ordering food from Church's Chicken, so wet. and they close at 9.30. So, it was 9.25. Ch 
Church is closed at 9.30. Okay. We pulled up to the drive-thru. They said, hey, we're limited on stuff because we ordered, and they're like, we don't have that because we're about to close. Just pull it to the window, and I'll tell you what we got. That's red flag number one. If they're saying, hey, I'll tell you what we got. We're about yeah. to close. Don't eat there. You all should have pulled out. We You're not required to eat there. <laughs> the Waterburger's 24 hours. We wanted the chicken. Mm-hmm. So we pull up to the window. He's looking back, and he's like, yeah, we got a thigh. We got a bone. We got a drum and some biscuits. <laughs> He's like he's like bartering with you. Like their POS system's not even on. He's just like, uh, we'll call this about six bucks. What do you want it or? If not, we're throwing it away. So uh, what do you say? So, but it's actually worse than that because he goes, honestly, man, we're about to throw this out anyway. I'll just put a bunch of stuff in here and then you can have it. So we got free church's chicken and biscuits. We're like, oh, we saved money. It's fine. Let's do it. We take the church chicken and the biscuits. We go back to the hotel room. My parents go in their room. I go into my room. I've been getting to eat my church chicken. And then I see the biscuit last because mm-hmm. you know I eat my food in order. Yep. I see the biscuit and there's something that came over me that said, don't eat that biscuit. Uh, it's probably due to the fact that that biscuit... <laughs> Might have had the same consistency as a cinder block at that point in time. <laughs> that biscuit was probably four and a half hours old. The light wasn't, the warming light wasn't even on at this point. God, that dude, this fly is pissing me off. All right, go. You might have, if you ate the biscuit, if I think where this is going, if you, yeah, we know, we need to get him. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, get him. Oh, I lost him for a second in the light. Get him. Ah! All right. Oh my! I got him. <laughs> yes! <gasps> he actually got him. Wow. Jaden Smith, who? I never saw him. He actually got him. That's that's. And you're gonna, you're gonna you stay there. <laughs> listen to this podcast without freedom of roaming. All right. <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife. All right. All right. So. I'm looking at that biscuit, and I'm like, shouldn't eat it. I was hungry. I finished my chicken, and I saw the biscuit. So I was, chicken gone. <laughs> so I was, so there. It's like, I got to eat this biscuit. Mm-hmm. I eat half the biscuit. I go to bed, right? I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping, but then in the middle of the night, I'm wet. And I'm like, I know I sweat a lot, but this is an ungodly amount of perspiration yeah, coming like from I'm my pores. Ill. Yeah, but I didn't know I was ill. I was just like, I'm just hot. I didn't feel bad. I was just hot. As soon as I opened my eyes, it was like I was in an optical illusion. It was like I was in a haunted house. Like it was just spirals and spirals of things. And I was like, oh no, why am I dizzy? What is happening? I can't see in front of me. I I get up to evaluate my situation. Like, where am I? What's going on? Do I have legs still? Yeah. Analyze, assess, adjust. <laughs> exactly. I stand up and then my stomach is just drops straight to your knee. It is like Mike Tyson had a sparring match with my gut. <laughs> monkey, monkey. I'm like, oh, this isn't this is bad. This is code red. Oh, Falcon high, blue. High, yeah, we need to call India security. Golf Niner Niner. I need help. It is bad. I'm a bad sick. I'm a bad bad. I turn into a baby. I'm not even going to speak on that. I've seen this man sick. Oh, that's a different story for a different podcast. So oh, that's coming. I was a, I'm a bad sick, so I turn into a baby, and I'm like, I need, I need my mom. I'm going to go see my mom. I, I somehow stumble out of my room, get to the elevator. Elevator made it so much worse. It was like, I was like, uh, uh, hitting buttons on the thing. I told you, his, his immediate <laughs> fallback is he's blind. He just loses eyesight. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you get poked and not? No, my I, I ate a biscuit and I can't see. <laughs> so I get into my parents' room. I'm knocking, boom, 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 like two, three in the morning. And you know my parents, they're on security mode all the time. So they're pop a heart and pops up. Yeah, he's ready. And he opens the door and he's like, "What the? He's like, what the hell is going on?" I move him out of the way. I take three steps into my parents' room. It was like every liquid and solid that I. Have ever digested was on that hotel floor now when i went into the bathroom to try to finish up the throw up it wasn't just throw up you ever shot out of two ends at one time 
you were a oh you were a sawed off double barrel <laughs> shotgun. It was like <laughs> in the bathtub. What? Which which end? What? Because I could. What do you mean? Because so you stood in the shower to vomit. When there's a toilet, a hop, skip, and a jump away from you. No, it's because they were coming out at the same time. So I couldn't. But for them to both land in one said location, that means you were in the middle of it. Like if you were facing one end, the back side would go to the toilet. If you were facing the other, the, the back side would go to the. Or the front, if you were looking in the, or the tub. How did they both get in the same spot? I just stood in the, I stood in the bathtub. I stood in the bathtub. You are one I couldn't commit. deranged individual. <laughs> I was sick. I couldn't think straight. I yeah, couldn't see. The tub felt like the toilet. No, it's because the way so the- So I crawled into it. <laughs> the way the bathroom was set up, I had to commit to one. I couldn't, like, poke my head into the shower and throw up while the other end was activated. It was all- the, So I had to- I guess that's fair enough, like- that was that's okay. That's the decent. nastiest. Oh yeah. Two and a half hours of my life. I'm two and a half hours. I went to the hospital because I was so dehydrated. How how young were you? What age? Like, were probably like fourteen. Oh yeah. Should did I they give you? That? Did they give you an IV? Yeah yeah. They couldn't find the vein. That's insane. They couldn't find the vein, and so they were just squiggling the needle around in my arm, and they're like, "We can't find it." And I was like, "Get it out!" <laughs> Bro, you just said. <laughs> you threw up for two and a half hours. Not continuously, but like on and off. Yeah, yeah. Like, but two and a half hours of vomit in a tub, sawed off double barrel shotgun, double action going, one man army perk. You got finished with one weapon, you went to the other one, and then you got iodine and stuck with an IV. You should have... You should have committed arson and burned that church to the ground. <laughs> that biscuit ruined me. That biscuit had strands of viruses that we don't even know. That's where COVID started. Oh, that's insane. Uh, you, did you know Johnny Depp is from Kentucky? What? What? What, is, what are your segues today? Johnny Depp. I, oh, damn. Never mind. I can actually think of a segue. KFC. No, no, no. Chicken, Kentucky. <laughs> Did you? Depths out of that's left field, left, far left. But Did you? Did I you? didn't know that. Then why does he have that British accent? Yeah, that's insane. Wait, he's like so he's from Kentucky, but then went to England. No, he's just from Kentucky. His license plate or his his ID says Memphis, Kentucky on that thing. <laughs> Memphis, where? Where's Memphis? <laughs> Kentucky. We're not doing this again. Okay, so he has an F in English. He can't read, can't write, he can't see, and now he has no clue where geography is. Geo- oh. Karma comes fast! Geography. Where's, where's Memphis? Tennessee! You... So is he from Tennessee? No, or is he from Kentucky? I thought they were the same. Not we, have, we have 49 states, by the way. <laughs> Tennessee and Kentucky are one. That's not what I meant. I thought Memphis was in Kentucky. I've never been. Oh, my God. I've never been to Paris, but I know it's in France. No, it's not. It's in London. Paris, Le oh. Paris France. Yeah. You're about to piss me off. <laughs> I don't know what you need to stop. <laughs> Do you think I'm dumb? I'm a, I'm a smart guy. <laughs> I, perception's reality at this point. If it quacks, I can. Yeah, if it quacks, <laughs> the shoe fits. <laughs> what, what other ones can we why, why does he have that accent? <laughs> yeah, no, that's different. That's that's like, that is S tier level acting. Did he just know? He does it in real he, life. He's like, he's like, oh, do you do that? Or, uh, he's like, they're like, you're from, you're from the country. Like, what do you, what, how does that happen? Like, like what? He's, he's like, no, I'm not. Yeah. What's he like? He's like, hey, you're from Kentucky. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm not from Kentucky. Why does he talk like Where that? Where do you, like, one day you're just like, yep, that's what I'm going with.
That's like 21 being from whole across the pond. No, 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 but he was, but born, he was born there. there. Yeah, but I'm saying So his accent and dialect is going to come from here. Johnny was born again. Born here, is here. He, yeah, he's just he was just like, one day, I'm going to do yeah, this. He's like, he's like, oh, I don't want to be from here. <laughs> oh, speaking of the, speaking of the, uh, of the Brits, British accents and everything, 70 years. There's another <laughs> fly. Brendan. His. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. <gasps> oh, my he God. Was, he's back he in the gulag. In. He just respawned. He jumped from the. I'm over here talking about he's Purge. We have dead. one man army. He had last stand. <laughs> he's, he's gone. He's gone. That's the. We. Okay. We now have Peyton, co host Cam, Terminator Fly. That is our new trio. We need to he's, add him to the. Yeah. To the logo. Uh, get, get a W9 for this guy. Yeah, I need to tell Manscaped we got another co host. What is going on? He's really like, that's him. Yeah, no. That's unbelievable how that just happened. I wouldn't swipe at him again. <laughs> He's going to he kill knows, me. He knows something we don't. Oh, oh my. God. Oh, God. Spe actually, speaking of um, <laughs> of of Br Britain, right? Yeah. Is that the same place? The greatest of Britons. Is there multiple? There's just one great one. Have you? Sushi. I'm never bringing him Starbucks. No, I think it's a sushi. I'm never bringing it's him Starbucks. It's the crab. Again. You did say seafood makes you nauseous. <laughs> what is this? I'm turning into Floyd <laughs> yeah. just to be Johnny Depp. Put up your guard. I went down this. <laughs> the face. <laughs> All right, go. You went down what? So, um, some hole, some rabbit hole. So, um, <laughs> who made up British slang? Have you ever heard British slang before? That is probably... One of my favorite, not the jokes behind it, because those, some of them are rough, but like yeah. the jokes of the accents are unbelievable. I went down. That's, they're so funny. I go with the fish. They put the fish in the well, at least. <laughs> oh my, it's um, so. Whatever happened to empathy? She's still a human being, isn't it? Dude, those again. The jokes, some are They're rough, far fetched, very rough. But the the uh, oh, what are you doing? You got a hair. Okay. Yeah, hairball. Oh. You're a cat. <laughs> Ooh, let's not start that. <laughs> yeah, no, God, no. Uh, so say, what do you call like whenever you're using the restroom to clean up? You just you know you just use the restroom number two. You just sat down on the loo. Wipe. No, what do you call the actual utensil that you use that comes off Toilet the roll? <laughs> Bathroom tissue? What do they call it? A ball grow. A what? A ball? That sounds like... A ball grow. A ball... A bog roll? <laughs> what does that even mean? Head to the loo and hopefully you'll find a ball grow. The loo is kind of sick. I like that. I wouldn't mind saying I'm going to go to the loo. You know what happens when I'm gonna ring you back in a minute, all right? That's tough too. Some of the dude, Brit, I like it. When you're talking, fan. When you're having a good, you know, we're having a good conversation right now. You're having a, they call it chin wag. Chin wag. What? It, where are you? Where's who's they? What are these resources? Do you have time to sit for a chin wag? What? There's more. That sounds like. A chin, I don't even know what that sounds like. A chin wag, yeah. Or a, a, like a bog roll is crazy though. That sounds like something from mythology, like a like a monster, like a boss level. You have to beat the bo the bog roll. What does that sound like? Bog. I'm think it's on my. No, the, it's on the tip of my tongue. Where do you where do you sleep at night? Bed. The kip. The kip. No, they're just, they're, p no. They say, there's no way. <laughs> Jet lag, you feeling a little groggy? You want to head for the kip? <laughs> there's no way. What is a kip? The bed. No. No. Nope. <laughs> what is a kip? That is, that's not real. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> you 
got four more. Go fancy up with the bog roll and then head to the kip. No. Uh, you got four marks on your math test. You must really know your onions. What? I'm like, all right, Hansel and Gret. No, that's not. They're not British. Oh, shit. That sounds like a, t a fairy tale, though. Oh. You must know your onions. They would count onions. You know, like, like elementary math. It's like Johnny had three oh, apples, fuck. gave Maria one. How many? They're like, <laughs> they're like Charleston had four onions, but he threw one to the kip. How many onions does it take to clean his bog rolls? <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's just, good that's chin just wag. unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, and then he went for a chin wag. Oh my god! Shit chat. See how that? Yeah, that's funny. But when they're like, "Oh, ring you back," or "Ring you later," yeah. that's lit too. But oh, they call porta potties a waterloo. <laughs> Make sure you don't shake in the waterloo. <laughs> Whatever happened to empathy? She's still a human being, isn't it? Would you be laughing if that was your lady? Oh, God. We love our, our British yeah. audience. Thank you for but that. Thank y'all for y'all slang. That's funny. Bro. It, isn't it? It's equally as funny, though, is they like they think we sound ludicrous with facts. some of the stuff we say. Probably facts. Is they're yeah, like, they're like, but it's not a fact. <laughs> like, what? Where's the book that it's published? Like, or bet? We're like, on what? <laughs> they just like, you know, like, oh. Are we like drip? Like, you got drip? Yeah. No, They're like, like where? where? Where's the faucet? <laughs> Is it coming from the down light? Where's like, no, that's, it's, cr dude, language in itself is like, just think about that. Like, yeah. and I, I always think of like, uh, like Asian continent, like everything over there, mm -hmm. like, Again, this is nothing disrespectful at all. It's more like remarkable, but it's yeah. like if we hear someone speaking Chinese, Japanese, yeah. you know, anything like that, we have no clue and it doesn't even sound like real to us. Yeah. And it's the exact, exact same, same thing for them. Isn't it crazy? Like it's we're, cr like, think we're making an abundance so, of noises right now. Yeah. It's so normal to us. And if someone from a different language, different culture, don't know any English, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like blah blah blah. Exactly. Like no clue. That's wild. That's all. That's so wild to me. You know, I was talking to this girl that lives in like New York. We we're FaceTiming, and she was like, "You have a hard accent." And I oh, was like, I know. What? Oh, I know. In co we so we had teammates from across the nation throughout college yep. and stuff, and it's like even that stuff. Like born Americans here their whole life playing basketball, whatever, and it's just complete different complete different dialect like it's insane still english but it's like jokes completely different accents completely different what you call things completely different it's just like it's wild i want to say australians are probably the funniest people That's, that i've ever met yeah shout, I've out, shout out andy andy mate andy oh. mate we love you yeah i hope he's doing good i still like that i don't know this fly is really <laughs> did it get in your did it get in your kip <laughs> You all right? Yeah, you look angry. I, I, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> he, I don't know where he went, or he need, he does not need to come back. I haven't seen him in a minute. I hope he's doing good. I just felt him, so. <laughs> it, my, my eyes are watering. I don't know what I'm under attack. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing again. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> Do we need to take five? No. Okay. Um, we need to take five bucks and buy insect repellent. That's what we need to do. <laughs> um, oh. th there's going to be no Discord call this episode. Hey, this episode's not near being done, but I just want to take a second Man. to recover. And um, I'm just kidding. We'll be back with the calls next week. I just want to take a second to recover because he's under attack and I'm having a laughing attack and I'm sweating so bad. But this is going to be an Instagram heavy episode. I'm saying there's going to be a lot of perks for following on Instagram at PSHA. And we have so many video requests, so many DMs. Thank you. You have to be following to be on the show. Um, <clears throat> this one is really. I just noticed what you were doing this whole time. About 10 seconds of it. It's all right. I'll see. Are they would you rather or were they. Pod uh, um, I forgot, or? but I just screenshot it. I remember it was really good. This is from Tyler Brown um, on it's Instagram. Me. Shout out to Tyler Brown. He sent a long message um, saying how he loves the show. So shout out to Tyler. But then he said, 
Oh, you better get up. You better stand up. If you don't spit that out, it's down again. Oh, ooh. Continue. That's disgusting. You just went and went. Oh, you, yeah. You want to talk about under the cot, under the cement floor? That's you right now. <laughs> my mom's going to be so mad when she watches this. Yeah. That's her least favorite noise. Oh, my God. Sorry, Mom. It's disgusting. Uh, so, Tyler Brown says, if you could give Cam a superpower, what would it be? <gasps> and what would he give you? And he said, I feel like y'all would come up with some crazy stuff. So, so are you answering both? Like, what, I, you, what you think I'd give you? Or are you going to answer mine? I'm going to answer yours. Just, I'll give you a super... And oh. I give you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Tyler Brown on Instagram. Thank TB, you. TB, We got out. another Instagram video submission coming after this. Okay, let's see. Let's take 10 seconds and think. Okay. What would be most beneficial for... Like, we're actually trying to help each other. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got about five more seconds. I'm trying to decide um, between the two. I know. I'm trying not to make it like dead silence for the audio listeners. You go first, though, so I can think while I'm... Because I'm just talking and filling the void of depth. All right. Yeah. Mine's a double. All right. Let's do it. To best benefit my life. Best benefit your life. Here we go. Don't Superpower. You. Ready? I'll smack you. Count me down. <laughs> Three, two, one. In Dallas. In Atlanta. <laughs> Botox armpits and a repellent to the color black. That's your superpowers. You're never allowed to wear black again. You're out of your comfort zone. You're not sweating. <laughs> you know what? You can thank me later. I got something for you. Oh, uh, that, huh? Yep. I'm actually gonna Would help. Would that you. not benefit you? Yeah, but you could. I want to teleport. That's my. I want to teleport. Okay, I'll give you a real one after yours. Go. No, because this this is a, this is genuinely mine for you. I would give you the ability to have laser focus. <laughs> that's not. Is that not the same thing? No, that's not. Botox. A I could go get Botox armpits. That's not a superpower. And repellent to black. Black's my favorite color. All well, right. It's not. It's my favorite color to wear. <laughs> I was going to say something that's just mean. Say it. No. Why? No, it's not a superpower. That's oh, just well. A, that's just a dig. Okay, I would, I would deflate your hips. Now say something mean to me. <laughs> say it. My, say it. Deflate my... It hurts. It doesn't need to be deflated. It's painful. The other night, I couldn't sleep. I literally was in the bed and I was like, Liv, my hip is giving me extreme. Okay, backstory. I don't think we've ever clarified this. Long story short, before it's. What, what is that? No, no. He's back. He was right there. I got. I'm. I'm so sweating. Okay, before my. <laughs> before he's. I'm never, ever getting. If he ever has a Starbucks drink ever again, he, he, got, he got it. I'm never getting into him again. He's like, he's like, you have the zoomies right now. You're like a puppy. They can't calm down. Oh my God. All right. Backstory. So before my second year, go, get off of me. Going into the second year of, uh, going into the second year of college for basketball, we're doing some pickup runs at the, toward the end of the summer. And I literally were running, like, it, the most random thing that you can never, like, it's not like I went up, got hit, came down, fell, like, so we're literally, we, my team scored, we're running back on defense, and me and someone else just trip up on each other. So, so when I trip, I landed, like, braced myself on my foot, all my weight shot through, like, landed on my one leg and just, like, shifted my whole pelvis. So it was kind of like this. So we're running back, we trip up on each other, and this is what happened. Running back, boom, and I was just like, bam, and just like planted, and it was just like, bam, like it was just planted all my weight on my hip, right? It hurt really bad for like two seconds. I was like, oh, God, Lee, what just happened? I tried to take one step. I literally fell to the floor. Like I could not. I was like, I'm absolutely done. Like I was really, so that's what happened anyway. My, uh, my pelvis came out of alignment. The like deep, deep, deep in here had a bone bruise and my um, piriformis was strained, which is like a small muscle right here. 
So it was just really bad. And basically, long story short, through PT and stuff, like I got back to where I could play. Obviously, I finished my whole career out. But it's like, it's only this hip. I've lost like mobility in it. Like this leg, I can do all sorts of whatever. But this leg, it's just like, it's like creaky. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's you, like a. You have hip dysplasia like a yeah, Labrador. Yeah, like a literally like an old dog or something. But it's, it's wild. But all that explains why it, it'll just be random times. And my hip just, I'm just like. Because he, he gives me crap about it. I will literally be walking. I'm just like, I'm like, yo, like today's one of those days. Like, I don't know if it's raining outside or if it's like connected to something. But I'm like, man, it just hurts. Speaking so. of uh, injuries, I've broken my foot, hyperextended oh, my yeah, knee, he's... broke my collarbone, broke all my fingers, fractured my elbow, six concussions, and I broke my back. I was in a, I was in a brace on my back for they a whole year. They called him Turtle Boy. <laughs> I had like this big ass brace and I had to like walk like this for a year. Like, What's up, Leonardo? <laughs> hey, ooh, where's Master Splinter? You want some pizza? I just see him, they're like. Ooh, what are you gonna go uh, fight a crime boss? Urgh. I'm a decrepit old man. Oh, yeah. Six you. concussions. No, that's crazy. You're one concussion away from SpongeBob becoming like your uncle or something. If you want. You know what I'm saying? No. No one does. What? No one knows what you're saying. If you get a concu- like deep concussions like I, multiple times, they t- you're supposed to be in like a dark place and not watch TV and stuff like that for a while until you get back to normal, like baseline. What's SpongeBob have to do with this? Like if you were to watch SpongeBob <laughs> and your memory and your tracks don't align, it's supposed to go like this and you just SpongeBob, oh, crrr. and now you got an Uncle SpongeBob. You ne- I don't think anybody's ever heard that. In high school, teammate of mine, well, not teammate, but he was playing football, classmate of mine, so many concussions over and over again, had to stop playing. He missed two months of school. He had to spend a, like a month in a dark room. God. He couldn't watch stuff because his brain was so like, that's what I'm saying. They literally told him like, just don't do anything really. Damn. Mine were all, mine were all mild. Here he is. Mine were all mild. So it wasn't like they were all deep concussions. Just a bunch of mild no, ones he, that stacked yeah, up to each other. He had to stop playing uh, football. Damn. Yeah. It's tough. Well, it's good for him, so he doesn't, you know. Yeah, so he knows who he is. But. Yeah. Um, my sophomore year of high... <clears throat> God. It's coming back. Just throw up. I <laughs> Just get it out the way. Not on the rug. In the trash can. My s- then remove the trash can. <laughs> no, I'd let it bake in here for a little bit. So I could, th- this would be my territory. I would <laughs> claim yeah, territory. Dude, def- I'd, yeah, it'd be <laughs> yours. All right. Wouldn't be sitting over here. Anybody that walks in would know. Oh, that's Peyton Just right there. Vomit. Oh, that goes back to the least favorite scent. <laughs> I've never Sewage smelled anybody else's name. vomit before. Oh. I have. Did it, was it good? It's awful. Oh, okay. Two instances. One, I believe I was in the choir in the second <laughs> grade. <laughs> and a girl threw... <laughs> dude, he... Uh, it was a choir singing in second grade. It might have just been like a class singing. I don't know. Like, knowledge is power. The more that you know, that little thing. And this girl literally turned around and went, and she threw up. And it only a, only a sliver, only a sliver got on my foot. But that was awful. And then in seventh grade, early morning, going to basketball practice, my friend's little cousin. So my friend and his mom is taking me. Sanjin, we all know and love Sanjin. We love Sanjin. Going to, uh, going to practice, his cousin's in the back seat. She had donuts. She's like four. Mm-hmm. She's like just gumming down donut <laughs> holes, way too many. And then she's all of a sudden like, and then she literally just like, uh, uh, I don't feel. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was so, oh, I was so, I was so upset. And Sanj in the front seat was literally crying. From laughing so hard. And I walk into basketball practice with throw up. I laugh. can't get over the fact that you're in the choir. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Kennedy, I know you watch these podcasts. Can you please find a video of Cameron in the choir? I don't think it was choir. I think <laughs> it might have just <laughs> no, been you like. Said choir. It might have been class choir or like, like school condoned <laughs> choir. It wasn't like I was. <laughs> I want to see your big head. Atlanta. Ad- <laughs> I wasn't full blown like. In elementary school. <laughs> in the cafeteria. Knowledge? No, it wasn't any of that. It was just like, I, I guess like 
You know, because you have music class yeah. when you're younger, which is kind of insane if you think about it. Yeah, we had. Uh, the, did you have the? Yeah. The flute. The, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, the flutes. You got to bring them home, the plastic ones. Fuck. Shit, I gotta get this story. Uh, you know, fuck. I'm tired. Relax. That's what I'm talking about. I need medical attention. You do. Where do I go? A neurologist. I know one place to start. L.A. I've never been to California. Not California. <laughs> oh, the gym. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Um, sorry. I don't know if there's any reverb on that. There is. I, I, can, I can see it spiking. Um, <sighs> my sophomore year of high school, I think I was on the worst basketball team that's ever played in a sanctioned game in history. <laughs> Impossible. We almost went viral on Twitter for winning a game. <laughs> that's bad. That's very bad. No, no, no. I don't think you understand. You, to go you vi- still lost, and there was so much attention around it simply because you almost won. No, let me, let me tell you this story. But you were in a solid area, though. Like, No, fuck that. You know how bad that is? <laughs> you know how many games? But you were, though. We, it's not like you were playing. It's not like you were trash playing other trash people, and y'all were just horrid. You know how many games we played that season? 26. 30. Okay. You know how many we won? Zero. Two sec. <laughs> Zero. All right. So we were the level of bad to where before we played a game, we didn't even worry about winning. We were going into the game and be like, nah, we're going to lose this game, but let's have fun. That's awful. It At was, least you were still having fun. It wasn't really because every game, we didn't get within 10 points. Like we were bad at basketball. A those, bad collective unit. We've already won. Because we, we play for fun. fun. That was us. But we were in this holiday tournament, like around Christmas time. It was our high school. The best. Yeah, exactly. It was a high school, like holiday tournament where you play teams outside of your district. So these were teams we've never seen before. First game, blown out by 45. That's normal. We knew that was going to happen. We expected it. Second game, the team we played, I don't know how they got into a regulated high school tournament. No kid on that team was above the age of 13. These kids... We're young. I'm telling you, the youngest kids I've ever, like, they were, it wasn't like, oh, they might just be small high like schoolers. Like an eighth grade team snuck into it like a. Exactly. They were little bitty kids. And I was like, all right. This is our chance. Not really. Strike while the. <laughs> strike while the iron's hot. The iron's hot. I was about to say while the match is hot. But not really, though, because we were like, nah, they might still be good because we're us. We're going to lose. We're playing them and we're blowing them out. We're like, this is what it feels like to be on the other end. We're up by like 25, 30. We get up by like 40. It's the, the beginning of the fourth quarter. Our coach takes all of the people that play out. We sit down. We're good. The second team goes in, and they're cooking them. Like, okay, we're actually going to win this game. We're sitting there on the bench. Like, we're actually laughing on the bench, having a good time. Like, hey. Probably having the best time. Oh, my God. We won. So I was sitting there on the bench just, like, watching. Chill. I wasn't even sweating at this point. I was like, cool. Like, I'm ready to put on my warm-ups, my slides, get back on the bus, go home, enjoy this win. But as I'm sitting on the bench, as the clock hits about a minute and it's starting to wind down, we won. We did this. I'm sitting there, and from the end of the bench, all I hear is, hey, Peyton. Peyton. I'm like, the hell? I look over at the end of the bench. One of my teammates has their phone out on the bench and is recording us, switches it around, records the scoreboard, switches it back to us and is going, yeah, yeah, 40 piece, 40 piece. And everybody on the bench is doing like that into the camera like, oh, 40 piece, you know, that's how we do it. I knew at a young age, that's not right. We're not supposed to do this. We're bad. Turn it off. (laughs) Yeah. We've never won a game. We won. One, we're going to win one game against some 13-year-olds. Probably shouldn't be recording it. Even if we're playing the number one team in the nation, phone's not supposed to be on yeah. the bench. You're in a basketball game. <laughs> phone shouldn't be with you. So as soon as I see the phone out and he calls my name and I look, I see the phone's on me. I'm like, nope. And I go back. Crisis averted. I thought so. I thought he was taking that video for us. I thought, hey, it's a memory. Our first win, probably going to be the only win. He's going to keep that for us. I checked Twitter that night. I look on Twitter, and I see that video posted from my teammate that was at the end of the bench. I'm like, shouldn't do that. That's two wrongs now. 
You filmed us on the bench and you posted it on Twitter. I'm not too concerned. It has like four likes and like one retweet. So I'm like, okay, not a lot of people have seen it. As the night starts to go on, I'm checking Twitter again. I look at Twitter and that video has about 500 likes, 35 retweets, something like that. I'm like, why are so many people looking at this video? Somebody quote tweeted that video and put our scores from the, the whole season where we lost every game by 30. And it's like, is this the dudes that are posting videos from one win on Twitter? That tweet alone demoralized you. 9,000 likes and like 800 retweets. It was going viral on Twitter. I'm like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. Code red, we've messed We're up. We're going to vomit tomorrow and run like we've never run. We get back to the school and our coach calls us out of class, each teammate out of class individually. Me in the office, we're watching film. All right, we've never watched film before because we're bad. <laughs> we don't need to watch film. We know we're gonna lose. We win a game, let's go watch and see what we did good. Yeah, let's I'm, like, build okay, on it. I'm like, okay, maybe he's like, the tides are turning, he thinks we can actually do something with our season now. No. We go into the office, he's beat red. like. Red. You could tell he hasn't slept very well. He's a little just sweaty. the walls. He's sitting there just like... Resting heart rate of 120. <laughs> he's scowling at us, just looking. It's like, like he's about to ensue damage on us as human beings. Flicks on the projector. What do you see on the projector? Not film. That tweet. And he goes, mm -hmm. I've never seen such a worse group of basketball players celebrate such a meaningless loss. Half of you in this room don't even belong on a basketball court. You're lucky that nobody better tried out. I said, is he talking to me? It's like, I'm, I'm pretty good. Like, Oh, my God. And then the player that took the video was like, it's not my fault that you can't coach. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. And th three strikes now. Welcome You're to the 26th anniversary of the Royal Rumble. Starting in the locker room. And so, oh my gosh. And you know, we you always got that one teammate that can't take shit seriously. And so you go, he oh, goes, that's me. He goes, oh, that was me. He goes, oh, damn. <laughs> Real quiet. I, super quick side go. Anytime there was a coach situation for us, we had a lot of them, and someone's getting yelled at or something's happening. I literally was like, like I, I'm, I'm a nervous laugher yeah. at heart, and it pisses me off that I am. But I could literally be getting yelled at by a teacher, and I was like, like trying to hold back a laugh and they're like you're in trouble you're doing something i'm just like i don't know why but anyway and then he that goes, was definitely me he goes down the line because after that comment it took him over the edge he goes down the line and assesses every player on if they should be playing basketball or not he goes you never should touch a basketball again you you're not good at this this and that you're lucky you even got a jersey he gets to me and he goes Peyton, you're lucky you're good all right i saw you in the video you messed up don't ever do that again, or you're not playing basketball under me again. And I was like, I didn't, I had yeah. no control. I and then when he said, I was like one of the two players that he said, oh, you're good. The team turned on me. The dude, Ooh, that, took, good. The dude that took the video said, I gave him 50. I said, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here. Yo, what is happening? It's like, what are you saying to me right now? Um, and then that happened. We play the rest of the season. Uh, he got the coach got fired, <laughs> and he ended up as one does for going one in twenty nine. He ended up coaching softball at a private school. Talk about a! I don't even know what to say. Turning table right there. That's sick. Yeah. So that was. Uh, oh. That's how bad my sophomore year basketball team was. That's bad. It was horrible. Our sophomore year was bad and had a lot of funny stories, mm -hmm. which I will save, but. That's bad. Yeah, it was it was awful. Um, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Softball next. Yeah, that's a he, that that just proves he just wanted the stipend. He's he's yeah. not he's not no he was not his passion. He was a, he wasn't a good coach. But um, the next year we ended up almost winning district. So he's back. Get him. Yes, you got him. Where I don't know, but I saw him fall and disintegrate in midair. <laughs> I don't, you, you yeah, killed him with that hand. That's, that's, that's nasty. That's like, we saw a baby yesterday. Oh, never mind. Oh, so he's there. He's still there. Dad, he's got nine lives. Yeah, he's, that's 50 cent. He's unbelievable. Um, I have an Instagram video submission. What'd you, what'd you say about a baby? 
<laughs> Remember yesterday? The, the mom that was holding the baby's throw up in her hand? Oh. That's a good mother. Goated mother, but... Was, God, I can't oh. have kids. All right. So this is a video submission from Instagram from Kat. She's a part of the Discord. Shout out to Kat. Um, here we go. Okay. So I need to know, since I told you my story about how crazy my neighborhood is... You need to tell me what the craziest thing that you've ever seen in the street. Like, you were personally there and saw it like crazy shit that went down in the street. Like, tell me. All right. Cat, thank you for the video submission on Instagram at PSH8. I know you're one of the misfits in the misfit chat in the Discord. We love you over there. Shout out to my misfits. Um, I feel like I've told a lot of the crazy stuff I've seen say, on the street. Definitely up your alley. You seeing things is insane. Uh, there's some things I've seen that I can't tell on the internet. I was about to say. I'm going to say for the disc, I mean for the Patreon when we make it. We already did. That's up there. He's right here. You, you get him. I got him. Get him, get him. Yes! Kill him again. Hit him again. Make no, sure he's out. No, that's gross. <laughs> if he, if he, com if he comes back from this, I don't know what to do. <laughs> he's the main character this episode. There's no way. I have to tell Manscaped to give him a... <laughs> yeah. Um, Just give him a grooming. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Screaming Lady, the last time I saw her, she was butt naked holding yeah. a crowbar, swinging it at cars. Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. And I've seen Screaming Lady, and she is... I mean... Love her. Sure, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's every bit of probably the craziest thing I've ever seen on the street. Yeah. Like with those parameters, it had to be on a street. Yeah. Oh, I also saw her. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. I can't, I can't. Okay. So what's the craziest thing you see on the street? That naked screaming lady with crowbar. Yeah. Is easily number one. It's quite frightening. In the Discord? You got to be in the Discord because her story about what she saw on the street is unbelievable. You oh. got to be a part of the Discord to see that. Oh my, yeah. That that to me tops naked screaming lady crowbar. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we uh, end it right here? Um, uh, I'm just pull something out, cat in the hat, and pull a trick out of the out of the hat. Magician. You're you're having a hard time, cat, Doctor Seuss. I don't. You're having a hard time. Green eggs. And, okay, you so can, you can tell you didn't write that one. Ham and um, I hate ham. Let's Black Force ham on Subway. Oh, I Italian like herbs and cheese. No. American toasted. There was a hair extension in my Subway one time. A full one. <laughs> like you, you could see the clip and everything. <laughs> it's like you purposefully did that to me. <laughs> I would have took that 12 inch sub and slap <laughs> someone with it if there was a hair anyway and i bit into it because i didn't what see do you it. think which animal do you think would be the best at a party <laughs> a monkey 100 percent. i was gonna say a lowland silverback gorilla but outside of that What's i'd say i you? would say i would say the lesser anteater they are honestly adorable <laughs> what is wrong? and they carry their young on the back <laughs> I, they're cute. Like I don't know what they would do. Serve the purpose of the at the party, like a, a lowland silverback gorilla. You've would, thought about he this. He would literally just chill in the corner and just be like, <laughs> like he would just be vibing. Like he would be. You there. know, he would maul everybody. Okay. Well, if they're, if they're, um, you know, personification. Tame. Yeah, we give them. They can speak and be normal and whatnot. Oh, just, you're talking about they got human like yeah, abilities. Yeah. Oh, let me change my answer. Because I was thinking a lowland of silverback gorilla or the lesser <laughs> anteater. I was thinking of like those little. Look up a pic. Look up. Enter in. Lesser anteater. Oh, Tell me that's I not you're adorable. The lesser than the two anteater. There's a le lesser anteater? Yeah. Like who adorable, think, who, what do you do during the day? I, it, uh, what do you do? <laughs> I, <laughs> um, um, I do a lot. Do you? Google. I want to see your Google search history. It, oh, there'd be some. There'd be some weird things. You want to see It'd something? Be like real the quick? lesser ant eater. And you want to see something real quick? We're uh, gonna keep this in. We're gonna keep this in. Okay. You want to see something? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what? You're yeah. Must be rough out there in Florida, huh? All right. So, I think that's it. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the You Should Know podcast. Um, the I got the code for the day. It's going to be bog roll. The, the, the code for the day is going to be bog roll. Put that in everything. Confuse the casuals. Follow me on Instagram at PSHA. Join BR, that Discord. BR for the... BR, yeah, if you want to abbreviate BR, it. Bog for, roll. 
you, you, here casuals. you go. Shout out to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say shout out first. I shout out to, to Purcell who made the Discord. I, I yes. forgot to do that in the shout intro. Out shout That's, out to Purcell. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Merch coming soon. Like if this is the corner, this is the corner. The merch is right here. I'll tell right you right around the corner. I'll tell you exactly what I'm waiting on to 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 release it. I want to find the best way to get it to y'all for a for a good price. I'm trying to find it because it's We're it's, it's basically out the done. logistics. Yeah. I'm just trying to make it easier All for everybody. All the mock drafts, everything's done. Yep. In contacts with the, the artists now. Mm-hmm. Designers. Mm-hmm. Very soon though, and it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Y'all gonna love it. So. Yeah, I, I I think it's 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 great. If you're a fan, you're like a true fan of the podcast, then you, it's gonna be Get right ready. up your alley. <laughs> yeah. Um, guys, remember one out of ten koala bears don't make it home for Christmas. I don't flip my shoe, but I'll try. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>